Hey, it's me, Brandy, as a hot mess express, trying to get these last two in before I hit the road. Um, so, excuse my appearance. Uh, anyway, in the background. Anyways, this is um, Leo and Aquarius, because you guys are, like, diagonal signs. Um, fixed. You're fixed, okay? So, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus uh, from October 7th through the rest of October. Of your general message. I am Brandy from Tori and I.com. You can find me there. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius and Leo. Iris of the Rainbow. Um, so it's almost like wishes are trying to bust through with the uh I can't say this name, but he's like a icy dude, right? So the rainbow, it's a, it's an inner conflict is kind of what I'm getting, like trying, trying to bust out of the negative confines or, um, you know, it's like turning that negativity slowly into, um, focus, right? Because the look on her face, hopefully it'll focus here, right? No, no, why? Why would we do that? We're expensive camera. Anyways. Um. Yeah, maybe, but you guys can kind of see she's got like a, she's naked, sorry. Uh, a very inquisitive, focused expression, right? And he has a very focused expression too, almost like, I see you. I see you. What are you doing? It looks like you're tending to the creatures and you're very focused on that and I have nothing better to do. The pixies. Collective of pixies. And it's almost like they are waiting in the wings as well with their expressions, right? Doing a little dance at night. It's almost like it's protect you in a, a, a sense. I think. I think, I think, right. The friends. How cute. Okay. He's a little guy trying to support this big guy to make, well, he's short, but he's trying to make him feel better. So there are people and associations, whether this is a person or whatever, they're waiting for you to ask for help. Um, or, or they're in the wings for when you need help, like the fairy godmother, right? It's almost playful energy, I think, trying to, to bust out and be like, hey, you know, we're here. We're here. You know, look at us. Um, there's just a lot, I want to say, magic and invisible help, so to speak, Aquarius, Leo, around you. And maybe why you're getting, like, some motivation or dream. Right, okay, right. We're going to call this the bust out, the provoker, um, the agitation, the at, at, uh, a, a, a cro like a, a crossroads, okay? And that's what I was saying. It's like trying to bust out, trying to bring a different energy into your life. And if this is a relationship, that's why it feels so difficult, okay, whether that's friends or lovers like wanting to be something else, but you guys haven't been able to cross those bridges or or come to some agreement. It seems like you guys are just at a cross purpose. Um, and really it's to work together. Like things are waiting to work with you. Okay. You don't need to feel like you have no one. It's more of opening up to the help that is around you, right? Because I have a lot of obsessive thoughts and anger lashing out, and this is more about being assertive for your life because there's health here. It's it's a very frustrating feeling, like a, a dual purpose. Uh, mental instability is holding on to things that are long overdue and should not be held on to, okay? I have Aries here, by the way. Aries, Virgo, um, Cancer, Scorpio, right? There's a lot of aggression and just the old pattern that needs to be released. 
Okay, it's it's not doing anyone any good, and I think that's where they're they're trying to show you the signs of this invisible help of trying to bust bust you out. Yeah, contemplation, and you're reflecting a situation too much, which is tearing you in half, which is why it feels very at a cross purpose, maybe not noticing like the signs and the symbols around you. <laughs> I can't make this up. Support. Seek encouragement. Find your support system. Right? Because you're going through a lot of cycles right now trying to push you out, the ups and the downs. And that's why you may feel like you're just, you're, you're everywhere. <laughs> I know I'm a hot mess right now. I just ran to feed cats, kittens, galore. Just it's it's insanity right now. I don't want to use those, Brandy. You guys can't tell. I'm like, <sighs> and there's possible hurricane shooting up. I mean, okay. Let's do this. Aquarius and Leo, Sun and Rising Venus. So Aquarius, you're here with death. The will of fortune. There's definite there is a definite shift coming and there's going to be a very clear focus on exactly what that is. This also again it's seeing the shift in the patterns and the uh, you know, finally, but being so dead focused that something's gonna fall away and that's when you send it's like a revive. The revive. Right. Queen of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Five of Wands, which is conflict. This is friends. They're, you don't have to do everything on your own, but you can't just expect them to drop things too. I felt like I really needed to say that. You can't expect them just to drop their life. You do have to give them a little bit of a heads up, but they are there. You know, you do have the support that you need. Uh, the Empress, Taurus Libra, the Devil, Capricorn. Okay, this is just being so obsessed on one, on one thing, the focus. And that's why it feels frustrating because you've not realized that there are um, support systems or friends or fam. Literally, you know. That could assist you in whatever situation is going on here. It's like you're you're sitting on it and not doing anything. The Six of Wands, but that's reversed. Mother, Hierophant, Four of Swords. Like there is a sickness here of trying to keep everything structured and my way, my way, my way. Burdensome. Ten of Wands. I mean, this story could go on and on and on. If someone isn't getting this, you need to ask for help or stop taking on so much burden mentally uh, mentally and emotionally. I mean, it's more mental and emotional than it is physical because you're sitting on the mental and the emotional aspect of whatever's going on in your life, which is really your downfall. And that's why everything just feels at cross purpose right now. I can't make this up. Caught in the ruins of your own mind. Caught in the ruins of your own mind. This is a self-imposed prison. That's a crappy door. Okay, trying to get the things and people out of your life that are not serving you. It's like a release, like I said. A release of the negative patterns, the cycles. But you keep trying to distract yourself from what spirit's trying to send your way. And this is a self-defeating purpose. Someone may be dealing with legal aspects, um, relationship, friendships. Okay, like I said, there is one in particular person who's not so great. Not so great. And it's like you've pushed the other people out for this one person. Too focused and really see the things and well the signs and the symbols are there put it that way fairy godmother coming all right what is our last piece here for leo and aquarius serendipity merge with the flow and perfect acceptance underneath that 
So we're going to read that. It says number 30, which anything followed with a zero is divinely guided. Again, uh, lots of signs, symbols, stuff like that. This book's like falling apart. It's like everything is the same as it was yesterday and it's like a, a futile action of yours. I'm just going to put that out there. Okay. Be aware that opportunities are lining up around you. Uh, our, our reading's done. Literally just said that, but you're not. <laughs> okay. Merge into the flow of life and trust in all its light and shadows. They have brought you to this point. Maybe unbeknownst to you, you're perfectly poised for opportunity right now. Trust your efforts and recognize the signs of serendipity occurring around you. It means you are where you're meant to be and doing what you're meant to be doing. Just to be conscious and of follow up and follow through. Good fortune forms around you. The girl of serendipity merges with the leaves of life and they welcome her into the nourishing and lush embrace. Like them, she is growing in abundance and opportunity. Fresh potential awakens. Everything happens in the right time and place exactly as it's meant to. Okay, folks, make sure you hit like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if this is resonating. Okay.